warehouse complete. Yellow. On my way. What's going on, y'all? Tell me where. Local units. Welcome back. Local I hope units. everybody's doing great. Local we've units. uh we've reached a milestone. Local we've units. hit 20 22 yes. 22 units. subs in about 2 months. So I wanted to thank y'all for that. Local units. We're doing great things here, bringing you the best uh, Halo Wars content in 2019. Ten years later, it's ten years ago since this game came out. It's crazy to think. Ten years is a long time. So I've got a very, very special one today for you folks. We have a Super Turtle. A Super Turtle on Fort Dean with Zero Dragoon, also known as Outdoor Kibbles, and Am's, Am Smarty Pants, Am Smarty Pants, cool guy. I've never actually played with Kibbles before this, but I've heard of him, uh, as well as Smarty Pants, alas. Sorry, dude, I, I have not heard of him before today, but nevertheless, it was a fantastic game. And if you saw by the timestamp, it's a long one. The longest video I've ever uploaded. And I'm, I'm pulling through for you guys. I'm gonna be here the whole ride. No more piecing out, cutting it short. I'm gonna be on this, on this roller coaster with you. Um, yeah, so a super turtle. Let me, if you don't know what that is, let me explain to you. A super turtle is when you and your teammates, they try to stay at their bases and defend the whole game and never go on the offensive. So the, the goal is to create a defense that's so strong or turtle up as it's called hide in our little turtle shell so much that the opponents just can't do anything and that's what we're going to attempt to do this game we'll, uh, we'll find out what happens if we are successful um, yeah 10 years it's a long time it's uh it's crazy to think how much has changed, especially uh, for this game. For one, I never thought that it would get a sequel. Nevertheless, a definitive edition, which is what I'm playing right now, which they released for the PC and also the Xbox. I didn't think that this game would get a sequel either. That really, really surprised me. Um, Halo Wars 2 came out and now they've announced the new Xbox the Xbox Scarlet it's gonna be launching in I think holiday 2020 alongside Halo Infinite which I'm really excited for and with Halo Infinite local units I'm not sure what they're gonna do with the Halo Wars story because they ended Halo Wars 2 I won't spoil it, but the ending of Halo Wars 2 was kind of a cliffhanger. And I know I'm biased, but if you ask me, I think Halo Wars 2 was the best Halo campaign we've had in a long time. Probably since Halo Reach, in my opinion. Um, I just really enjoyed the storyline, and I didn't think it was garbage unlike Halo 5's was. Um, so yeah, hopefully they will maybe tie something into the Halo Wars universe. I would love to see something like that. Also, maybe a, a threequel coming out sometime in the future, a Halo Wars 3. I doubt we'll see that for a very, very long time. It took them... Nine, I think it took them seven years, seven or eight years to release a sequel for Halo Wars 1. But we'll see. Only time will tell, right? Um, anyways, back to the game here. 
So Kibbles is in the green, I think. No, Kibbles is blue. What do you want? Smarty Pants is the green. And I am the teal. Our opponents, on the other hand, they surprised me. I didn't expect them to be um, pretty decent, but they were actually they were really good opponents, and you'll see what happens near the end of the game, who comes out on top, but the game's very close for a while. Um, yeah, so right now, I'm just trying to get some units out, because our goal right now, we discussed, we're trying to super turtle. So I'm building some units to kind of keep us alive until then. Uh, my goal is to eventually get a scare about and try to help push them back. So yeah, in the meantime, I need something to hold the line while we get our bases up and get our expos running. We're going up against Double Forge Profit. And they've already got tanks out. I, I could see. I thought I saw some on the mini map there for red too. But this ghost was pissing me off. He lives way too long. And now he has vampires, so he's on a very quick tech too. And yeah, they he did really well getting getting there fast. So I am just about to get tech two. I'm queuing it up right now. Got my expo going. And this prophet, at the same time, is sending some vamps in over here to try and stop that. Well, if you see on the minimap here, Smarty and Kibbles are kind of just chilling. Who was it? I am Groot. That was one of the forges. I think they're Smurf, Smurf accounts, to be honest with you. They're already pushing up with some tanks. I'm gonna go in with my Banshees I have, try and support. At the same time, I'm gonna keep my Brute on defense to try and maybe Vortex down some of the Vampires and the Banshees. I'm getting my own Vampires at the same time, and the Prophet has arrived. So I'm gonna be getting Stasis Drain right away trying to save my units and my chieftain is taking a hit here <clears throat> and they give me the cheese they uh yeah they weren't being very nice to me we basically farted on my base there And yeah, now he's uh, he's just really, he's got it out for me. He's going full, full out of air right now. I am honestly kind of impressed with how much troops he got out in the time he did. I'm gonna move my vampires back in, try and stasis down a few units, get some of the health back on him. And Kibbles is bringing in some Wolverines along with Mac. They're trying to take down my temple right now. Yeah, things are already heating up. This prophet's being pretty cheeky already. But yeah, uh, shouts out to. Cleaner Ben, shouts out to Socratic Atheist, you guys are my homies, have been commenting on my vids, much love to you, appreciate you for subbing and sticking around, if you guys ever want to play, hit me up, I'd love to make a vid with you. So my chieftain is, I want to just get some more of that heal, some of that green, that green goodness, we're pushing this off my base here. And now I'm going to go in and support and just put some damage down on these tanks. All units. 
get the stun on that one there. Vampires don't do the most damage, but anything helps, am I right? And I think I'm just about to yep, recall him out of there. And he is still, he's still hitting it. He was determined. That prophet was, I don't know, he had it out for me or something. I like insulted his mother or something in a past life. He just would not relent. And Red is on power turret already. I was honestly a little surprised. Well, 10 minutes, it's not too bad, but that's, that's fairly great timing. I was a little kind of shaken by that. Like, I was like, whoa, hold on a sec. Come on, guys, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. I, I didn't expect him to have power turret. I didn't, I didn't expect that these guys would actually be decent when we were playing. Um, so yeah, that kind of caught me off guard. And you can see Smarty and Kibbles are moving over there as we speak. Try to intercept those. And I'm going to send my engineer over there to heal his base. So I can see they're pushing in right now. They're getting wrecked. I, sh I wish I was watching that battle. Um, but I'm going to go over there and try to get my expos up. And yeah, we held that off pretty nicely. He wants some more, though. He's got them all red bar, too. Does he get it? I can't... Yep, he does get it. Local units. <coughs> Excuse me. You know I was coughing, right? I wasn't properly hydrated. Which segues, again... This video has been sponsored by the wonderful dihydrogen monoxide. Uh, today I'm enjoying the brand Great Value Purified Drinking Water with Flavor Hyphen Enhancing Minerals. So, a moment. Refreshing. Truly. Shield generator complete. So it's all quiet on the western front now. I'm gonna get my expo up. And I can't remember why he was flaring there. Where to? Yeah, probably not important. But I'm getting my shields up. I'm going to upgrade um, and try and get a summon up on my expo because I'm going to get some vampires and heal the tanks. When you're playing as the Covenant, let's say you wanted a Super Turtle. I didn't really know the build order, but thankfully these gentlemen, these fine gentlemen helped me out and taught me the quote build order for the Covenant. It was seven vampires, 15 engineers, and one scarab. And that will get you 50 population. I don't know what they are supposed to build. Looks like they have a combination of three Spartan tanks each, a variety of Wolverines, and as well as a few Cobras here and there. However, that might change depending on the leader and the situation. Depending on what they build, obviously. But that's the... I'd say that's the safe assumption. The safe bet to make. It looked like my vampire was stasising my own vampire there. But that's just the glitch, because I had him in the long-range trap. Yes. 
over on my other base. I actually sniped a vampire Warehouse cross map. Complete. And you see there's the corpse of him right there. I thought that was kind of funny. What do you want? And Red is just re relentless. They were actually pretty decent. I didn't know, I did not expect them to be this aggressive. Um, right research. But yeah. All units. Sending the old chief in. And we're about 15 minutes in, folks. Warehouse complete. Yes. All units. Oh, there's a purple blip over there. I saw that on the mini map. All units. Oh, and he was he was trying. They were getting sneaky. Citadel upgrade complete. Old red, old yeller over there. Base under attack. They're doing units. the 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 one two scout right now, checking us out. I'm gonna stop that. No mercy, these vampires right here. Little overkill, but uh. Yeah, no survivors. No way for them to report back home. All units. Warehouse upgraded. And I'm getting pretty established here. I'm feeling comfortable getting my numbers up. I'm doing this. I'm building all these vampires for security. Um, I feel like that they are going to be pushing with air because we've got all these tanks. However, that's not the case. All units. I lied to you. He's building a lot of hunters. Which vampires, you know, they can fight hunters simply because the hunters can't fight the back. Which is why, why I love them. Probably one of my favorite units in the game. They did not build anti-air. They didn't see the need to, so... I'm going to target down these Cobras back here. Before I feel they're the they're the biggest threats to my friends. The reason they can't push up. And Yellow upgrades himself to Grizzlies. So shout out to him. Shout out to Grizzlies. OG strats. All units. And they're kind of just machine gunning my vampires down. Or trying to at least. But Kibbles and Smarty are setting up their own Cobras as well. My Chieftain's coming in and plank. And I'm going to try to target down some of these red bars. At the same time, I realize that this base needs to get healed ASAP. So I'm going to do that. The Prophet's going to start beaming them. Beaming him from this giant ass wheelchair he has. Probably got about six cup holders on that thing. I always like to envision that. Under that shield there he's just got a he's got a 50 ounce uh, monster energy drink or something. Rolling. Rolling around. So yeah, we're we're holding them off pretty well. Red's getting cornered over here, and this base is it's doing all right. Nothing crazy. Oh, and then he drops the super carpet. And now this base is holding on by a pube hair of health. And my engineers are dead. And as they told me in-game, they have no heals. And they realized this. So I needed to act fast. I sent my engineer through that teleporter because my chieftain is closer to the base. And I'm going to send him on his way. While they're desperately trying to get through here. We kind of create a human shield, save this base at all costs, and engineer ready. 
yeah, we stopped the Grizzlies, and it looks like we're gonna get the heal off. Point me at them. Uh -huh. By the grace of Mother Mary, we we survived. So I'm on full pop vampires, and this base looks like it's living. She living. So now we're chilling. All units. And I'm getting pretty close. I think I'm saving up for Tech 3 right now. I think that's my my next all purchase units. that I want to make. At the same time, try to keep all of my units alive and get the upgrades. Where do we go? I'm queuing up Tech 3. I think this is about maybe 15 minutes in. All units. Sounds about right. Age of Reclamation. Research. Where do we go? So, yeah. All units. Ready. Tell us where. They're just soaking it up. That good green. And these are the... The best part about turtling is the weight. The anticipation. Because you have no idea what they're going to send at you. I'm preparing multiple shields on my base. For I believe they're gonna attempt something cheeky, Stasis as in research. all Here's. unit attack my base and try to drop it. Um, the Covenant bases are the weakest of the bunch. However, when you have multiple shields on them, Shield they are a lot more sustainable. So Smarty Pants gives me the idea yes. here to send some of the red bar vampires away get the scout out as well as free up some of my population destiny in order to make room for more engineers and more or a scarab that's what i really want right now yellow's decked out and purple i think he's yeah, he's got a sh shield there. Local units. But Local not there. Units. He was uh, taking chances this game, however. The rules of a super turtle prohibit us from attacking. Unless you're doing, however, the, the Great Pilgrimage. And the Great Pilgrimage is when you start on the opposite side of the map. Local so this units. side, like Local the units. more uh, rural, the more dirt part of the map. I should just say like the south side. Units. Enemy and when you do oh, the Great Pilgrimage, research. your goal is to switch Enemy mains engagement. with your opponent. So you want to come over, destroy all the bases, take the bases, and then just set up camp while they take yours and you don't attack them. And at the same time, you're gonna self-destruct the rest of your bases too. So once we get established here, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna let our Expos die and hold on to this higher up cement plateau, as it were. Engineer ready. And that's the Great Pilgrimage. Tell us where. We got pretty lucky with the spawn on this one. I'm going to hit some vamps. Sack them into these turrets here. Because I'm pretty close to 23 population. Engineer ready. 
and we haven't seen them for probably five minutes or so. I'd say about five minutes. And we're queuing that scarab up. Where do we go? Great All things units. are happening. We obey. On the way. Commander. So Kibbles has Commander. set up his defenses near my buildings. Tell us where. And I I don't know where's Enemy Smarty engagement. Pants. I think he's doing the same. He's kind of just huddling together in front of his base there. He's got some flamers. And I felt like that was the best choice he could have made this whole game. Seeing as I think the only infantry unit we had was my pro uh, chieftain. So. Local units. Yeah, and they also built jackals too, which was uh, pretty interesting. Engineer ready. Moving. All units. Enemy engagement. Local units. I'm getting that chieftain upgraded. And freeing up some population. And I see this. Chieftain's starting to push in a little bit, so we're getting... Things are heating up, folks. We're in this for the long haul, so no wimping out. All units. All units. All units. Those are salt beams. Salt beam is very good. I've talked about it before, but always get a salt beam. It takes forever to get, but it's, it's awesome. It does a lot of damage. Dropping the quad max. I'm gonna decimate a few of those things. Those scarabs or the engineers are healing backwards. As you can see there, they're just pointing into the sky. Healing who knows what. The spaceship, probably. I'm going to get them out of the way so they don't get taken down by wolverines. And my chieftain takes canister shells to the face. All this attack is in full... full-fledged, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to try and save some of these cobras. However, it was uh, no use. All units. They are throwing all out. They've got basically everything they have over here, and I'm not. I was not prepared for it. All units. So we're pulling back. My chieftain barely lives that. Engineers are still healing the sky, and we're gonna we're gonna pull the retreat right here. Local Getting units. the upper hand on us on the battlefield. And that was Smarty Pants Base? Yeah, that was Smarty Pants Base. All units. And they are attacking mine as well. However, I think I have two shields on that base. And my Scarab's done too. So that's nice. Engineer ready. And they've got ODSTs as well. I gotta be careful though, because those hunters, if they all focus fire on me, it's not gonna be a good time. So my goal is to attack this prophet to stop the flow of units. So he can't bring any more in. And at the same time, I'm going to bring in my engineers for some backup. It looks like Red is at my other base right now. I was not watching, but it looks like he's over there. Um, what else? I can't remember what I have up there, but I had a shield on it for the longest time. And he's shooting that boy down. I'm sending in the uh, defense right now. They're locking down the Cobras. And I'm following the charge. Yellow is, looks like he's pushing in on the other side too. Our 
However, I think he turned back from what it looked like. All units. And we're getting into all the meat units. of it, folks. We're getting into the nitty gritty. They're pushing on all fronts right now. I'm gonna recall. Get the old slam on that guy there. Push some of these guys off with my scarab. All units. And I healed that millimeter of health I lost off of my scarab for some reason. Rather than having them be somewhere useful. All units. Well, that was, All that was units. cool. Red is uh, pushing into, they're kind of circling us in. Closing in on us, as it were. And yeah, I'm getting into the... I think I have about 14, 15 engineers right now. I'm rebuilding most of them. Smarty Pants advised me at that moment to split my engineers, which I thought was a great idea. Have half on one side of the map and half on the other. That way we could be protected on all fronts. And I'm going to keep my scarab on, I think I put it over here. Yeah, I think I kept it just right there for now. Local units. Yeah. Warehouse upgraded. Yes, orders. All units. 15, let's have a Dope. I'm going to put a lot units. more shields on this base, so... Stay tuned for that. All units. You got it. Good as done. Rocking that one uh, one supply pad economy, am I right? That chieftain smash was pretty dope. He flung him into orbit. He was like swoop. Prophet is still not flying yet. Turret complete. Probably to avoid uh, All units. vampires. We're moving. And he is also pushing in at the same uh -huh. time. I got the the nice Race pick there. Attack. I'm gonna recall my chieftain to come and help. The chieftain's final upgrade, I think it's called uh, Destiny. All units. It does a area of effect stun on infantry units so that little circle he makes so i can stun a few hunters at once with that and it does damage to all of them too which is pretty nice i mean you can see they don't even make a dent in that shield which is why i put so many on it And they're starting to close in. They're taking some All of the units. bases. All units. As well as continuously on the offensive now. Really trying to break through. And they're setting up some Cobra lines. So I'm going to go stop that. And yeah. I banished some hunters into the abyss there. Local units. Local units. I realize it's time for me to leave because I can't fight all of that. So we're going pretty well and I was supply glitching myself on pur purpose here because I wanted to build extra generators. However, Kibbles is... Um, Cobras are too close so I actually can't rebuild which is interesting. Doing, dropping the old carpet bomb. The Prophet's basically just doing drive-by shootings units. right now. Essentially just swinging by everywhere and hot-dropping the units through as he gets them. Which is a good strat. But needs to be coordinated with other things. All 
All units. Where do we go? All units. He does not. He, he escapes. That man, we said he was probably the, bre the best prophet we've ever seen. I don't think we killed that prophet one time. Look at those wolverines. And look at that. Look at that vulture. Look at that thing. They're the goofiest unit in this whole game. They're so slow, but they're 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 kind of strong, but not really. Local units, local units, turret complete. All units, local units. And he's pushing in on Smarty's base. units all units all units and I don't remember why what I was doing I should have been sending my engineer somewhere I don't think I did and I felt like I should have gone and helped that base I don't know if we decided we were just gonna let it die or what I think that's what we did we just decided we were gonna let it go because we were getting pretty deep into this into this turtle here we're about the halfway mark folks so thanks for sticking around if you have for this long. All units. If you if you made it this far, go down in the comments and just write something crazy. Just write something really random like uh, I don't know your favorite type of cheese and why. And I'll know who the OGs are from that point. Mine's Pepper Jack. By the way, I love pepper jack cheese. So if any of you uh, out there love pepper jack, let me know. Also, Col Colby Jack is acceptable. Um, I'm not a big fan of feta. Well, feta's all right, but blue cheese. Not a big fan of blue. Um, And American cheese, like the like the Kraft singles. I just don't. I don't think that's really cheese. It's like a piece of paper that somebody sprayed cheese whiz on and like smashed it down. In my opinion, so we're getting the the group heal on that thing there. Things indestructible with all those guys. Prophet's coming in now. He's just kind of getting desperate, looking for anything, any opening he can find. And I get the stun off of him, and he poofs out of there. But yeah, we still living. Got a one-star scarab now. That was pretty cool. So those things are pretty much indestructible. All units. Repositioning. <laughs> Enemy engagement. There's something going on. Oh, I get a vulture. Where do we go? Tell us where. Gonna shoot the needles at him. We're moving. Show us where. Those vultures can still shoot you even if they're stunned. I'm gonna get a distance on them. So Mr. Prophet is dropping down by this base, this money base. I think that's Kibble's base. And he's just beaming stuff. So we're going to try to save him, like the good boys we are. He's going to peace out, and I'm going to get these engineers on it.
Red Slytherin All up units. there. And Purple's already back. He's definitely All got the units. shield of the Forerunner. That shield. That shield recharged. And he's gone. Dropped in Turret one hunter. Man, we luckily defended him off. Yes, commandos. Local units. <clears throat> Enemy engagement. I don't know how those Local got units. through the teleporter. I have no Local idea units. who sent them through. Because it was not me. I don't know if you saw, or maybe somebody Local saw. Units. But I, I still even watching this again. I have no idea how those went through the teleporter there. They just kind of did that on their own. It looks like. And I'm opting for another shield. You can never have enough shields. Try to get the, the snipe off. What now? Shield generator complete. Yes. And here comes the All fleet. And we, yeah, we lost that base. That was a tragedy. I should have had my engineers over there. And I'm not going to I'm not going to fight into that because all of my stuff will die. So I'm going to kind of split them up again. Get my scarab over there. Cuz my scarab's just kind of been sitting doing nothing. Base under attack. All units. And they're getting uh they're getting antsy again, so they're pushing in. However, there is a lot of shields on that base, so they're gonna need a lot, a lot more than five hunters to deal with it. Six, seven, eight. Yellow is going in as well. I think now he went out. Looks like red's sneaking in too. And I called that, so I'm gonna push on over there. And they're just about to get the shield down. Enemy engagement. We have them now. Local units. Local units. So they're they're doing the old switcheroo on us. Doing the old hat trick, the the old Go one, two. Attacking one side and now moving to the other. A little, little, uh, sort of creative with it. But that quad Mac is so strong. Local units. And I've got three shields. Now, if I hadn't had a few shields on this base, it could have been a different story. If I had only one, they could have maybe dropped this base. Well, this is definitely going to keep the longevity of my base alive, and I'm already back to full shield, so it's going to take them a long time to get through those. Then I decide to put another one up. All units. All units. All units. units. 
Local units. Local units. Local units. My chieftain living, living on the black bar, living on the edge. And I am the last one with an expo remaining. So yeah, things are looking up. They're getting uh, dug in there, getting their turrets up, getting their buildings moving, and we are we are sitting pretty. This prophet's trying real hard to get these get these tanks done for, and I'm gonna do try and help the escape here. Yellow is single file sending hornets through. All units. And here comes the attack. He gets a great carpet bomb there. Like absolutely immaculate. He killed like every wolverine with that. And now there's no wolves. They're gonna do some max. I've got some engineers on the way to heal this up. My vampires are stunning them. And I barely saved that, too. But look how fast that thing goes back up. And my scarab shooting at it. It's just, it's all out chaos right now. And I need to rebuild my chief and I. He, I was not paying attention. He got, he got wrecked. Units. Big ups to the homie Gustavo. We are you. I'm pretty sure um, if you're familiar with the canister shell glitch, you can do the same kind of glitch with Wolverines. So I explained in one of my videos how it works. The canister shell glitch is when you shoot an infantry unit with your canister shell. If the unit dies, like say the hunter pair dies, then your canister shell resets and you get it back again. It's a really weird glitch. And only if they die, you'll get it back. And I think the same thing happens with the Wolverine's volley ability. I forgot about it though. I think I saw him do it maybe. Shield generator complete. Turret complete. Local units. Where to? Local units. The doctor is in over here. My clinic, where all my patients are. I love engineers. They're really strong in this game. Halo Wars 2, there's a, there's a um, healing limit on engineers meaning that you can only have like I think it's five or six healing the unit at one time and the other ones won't impact it like it's just not gonna be effectful but in this game you could have 20 engineers on one unit and they're all gonna be healing that unit I think I had to take a piss right here that's why I'm not moving My expo is still standing strong. I am racking up that money. Check that out, boys. We're, we're loaded. We got a lot in the bank. Look at those Spartan tanks, too. Those are really strong as well. I think those are like 11 stars. Where are we needed? Orders? All units. All 
and they're back. They tried to come right up the ramp. That prophet is black bar now. All units. All units. All units. I sent that hunter to the moon if you could see that. That was crazy. He flew really high. Scare him with this here with my voodoo magic. My shaman shake. This is the chieftain glitch, by the way. If you want to know how to do it, watch my uh, watch my Halo Wars uh, glitches and tips video. All units. All units. All units. All units. Enemy engagement. My chieftain barely made it out of there, and I'm holding uh, holding these vultures off best I can. You can see how well I mean, just seven vampires will hold off vultures. That's why they're rarely used, if at all, other than just to troll people. They do great base damage, but they are just. I feel they need to be stronger. Maybe a slight buff to them. But we're never going to get a buff for them. Because. Yeah All they units. are not going to. Ever update this game I don't think ever again. I would really love to see. A matchmaking system. All units. Hopefully in one day. Like a. An actual search mechanic. Versus. Now it's just like lobby system. So you search for a lobby. Like a, a server and you just join the lobby and then you start the game. There's no rank, well there is rank, but there's no like skill based rank, like uh, in the original Halo Wars, they had a true skill system. And if you've ever played Halo 3, it's pretty much the same as Halo 3's. Uh, it was zero to 50, that was the rank, and you leveled up by beating players better than you. And once you reach like levels 35 and upwards, it was a little really hard to get extra points. It was like a factor of how many games you've played and how many you've won. Um, if you beat person who is better than you. And only a few people got up to 50 in each game mode. But they didn't have anything like that in this game. They just brought back the, the point ranks. So the point ranks are like the Brigadier, General, Private, Recruit, and you get those by just earning points throughout your games. And you don't really have to win games for that. Um, but yeah, alas, I would really love to have something like that, like a just search for a 1v1 like you can in Halo Wars 2, or search for a 3v3 or 2v2. Um, that would be a lot of fun, it would bring a lot more fun to this game. I could actually search for a game instead of having Local to find units. a lobby with somebody. Local units. Yeah. So we're, uh, they're going all out again. My chieftain's staying alive. I'm pushing in with my vamp. Those tanks are red bar. I'm going to go in there Local and units. heal them up. Give them that good green. My expo still living, by the way. Base under attack. Yeah. 
show us where. What? What? Local units. Local units. What is? Local units. Uh -oh. Moving. All units. I'm gonna try to go Jesus Chief in here. And have all my engineers heal him. See if he can make it. Base under attack. Yeah, my vampire just sat right above that thing there. Well, I'm surprised them, as many of them made it out as they did. Local units. I thought I was going to lose all those guys. Local units. Looking like flying dumpsters. Local units. What? And they're moving on the offensive now. They've decided they've had enough with this. But I'm not having a second base anymore. He's decided to send his Wolverines up there to try and do some damage. I'm going to attempt to vortex him down here and they're going to volley me. All unit attack. And he does a mega barrage. So I really... He's dead dead there. At the same time they're getting pushed up on the side. Green's trying to help me out a little bit. Move the scarab in to help him out. Local units. But this is not looking good for my base. Local units. We've been falling back off of it. I got that little Mac blast glitch when your screen gets kind of blurry after somebody Mac blasts. All units. There we go. Scarab's coming back. They're slowly almost got that shield down. They've got their claimers on the base. I, I don't know if they think that that does more base damage or what not, but I don't think it does. Base under attack. All units. And I think I have uh, decided to let the base die so we can truly have the turtle all up here. I had that expo for about an hour. So I think I have two supply pads now, three shields, and a summit. Local units. What? Move up. And Red is pushing in. He's got some Wolverines. And I'm gonna send my Scarab to kinda watch over them. And these Scorpions now, they just, they have they can just fight these hunters. They don't need any help, honestly. The only way that one of those tanks would die is if they all unit attacked them on one one tank. This 
some good water here, folks. You don't know what you're missing out. Stay hydrated. So they are assembling the final base. They've taken most, well, they've taken every base, except for our, our three. And I don't understand why they built so many Wolverines. Maybe to try to counterattack my engineers. That'd be what my thought is. But that one brave tank has decided to go out there and fight them. That prophet is still living, somehow. Slamming them out. Getting some veterancy on those on those boyos. Yellow has a giant ass army over there. Got those grizzlies. We should have built a Vulcan in this game. Should have built a Super Cobra. That would have been the icing on top. Nothing, nothing's getting through our wall. That's for sure. Once one thing's certain, that pelican got wrecked right there. Uh, one of his Spartans actually made it through. All units, local units. They were desperately trying to snipe him. I sent some uh, some medics out to All meet him units. in the middle, as they're attempting to kind of switch it up to air. And it looks like it looks like the tank's gonna go down. I think it did. Oh, it did. That sucks. He lost one of them. But the rest of them are living. That one tank is still standing strong. Yellow is pushing in now. They're going to attempt to take this in one star here about. But there's just so much, so many Cobras. So many Cobras and power turret tanks and just... He just gave it his, he gave it his all right here. He even sent his flamers in. Oh my gosh, that's just a slaughter. That's just not fair. 
under attack. Here comes that, this push again, too. Frantically attempting to get some progress on us. I think that's a full Star Cobra sitting right there. That is a full Star Cobra, ladies and gentlemen. I think it needs one more star, maybe, but that thing will one-shot any vehicle. Easily. Probably three in one with piercing shot. Ramps up there, put some work in. What do you want? Local units. Local units. About time. Local units. Local units. Where are we needed? Local units. And they're starting to counterattack down there with the ODSTs. Turret complete. What now? Where do all units? Local units. Give me that that beam. All units. Yes. What do you want? Holy smoke, look how much damage those things do. Those are like maxed out power turret tanks. With Spartans in them. And oh my god, there's an army of Cyclops too. I told him to run at this point. I said, do not fight that dude, you will lose. Those things are scary. at those things menaces to society all units they're just it's too OP man they can heal each other it's like the medics in Starcraft oh man oh my god a moment of silence rest in peace to all those soldiers man that was that was just cruel Oh god, that's gonna... I'm gonna have trouble sleeping tonight. There's just some things you shouldn't see in life, you know? Some things that you should... You wish you could just block out the memory of it. And that was one of them right there. Good night, sweet princes. Local units. So I'm sending my scrap down here. I'm figuring, let's get some more stars on this bad boy. We've got one, we've got two to go, right? Local units. All units. Where shall we go? 
Local units. Local units. Local units. And he resigns. So, yes, we successfully are taking down this super turtle here. I wanted to thank y'all for sticking through this. If you did, I'd be surprised if you did, to be honest, because this we're at an hour and 11 minutes so far with no edits, no cuts. Um, I wanted to thank you for watching. Appreciate y'all. This was one of the more funner turtles I have ever done. Uh, shout outs to I Am Groot, Discriminator, and Bleed Him Dry. GG, guys. Well played. I'm going to run through all the units here, so if you want to see the stats, um, I'm going to let them play out here. Uh, I built a lot of... I built a lot of chieftains that game. Um, yeah, it was uh, pretty fun. Shout out to Kibbles and Smarty Pants for uh, playing with me. Commented on one of my videos, and I was like, oh, sure, yeah, let's play. Actually, it turned into... Uh, pretty fun match but other than that uh thanks so much again for watching y'all and i'll catch you on the next one i'm your boy turnip peace out yeet yeet skeet skeet